This is Thika Road in Kenya. For many Kenyans though, this is known as the Thika Super Highway. It's an eight lane multi-modern expressway which stretches around 50 kilometers from the CBD and connects to several towns across the country. Well, it's a project under China and Kenya partnership. It's been constructed more than 10 years ago. Well, we are trying to explore how this road has impacted lives over the years. Bob, yeah. so much has been said about Thika Road. Yeah. As a road user, do you feel that it has a, uh, yielded positive results? Well, uh, Thika Road is a masterpiece of its kind in the region. Uh, it was, uh, it was a, a great milestone uh, infrastructure-wise because before Thika Road was constructed, we had a lot of traffic, especially along Thika Road, because it was, initially it was just a basic dual carriageway. And uh, it will take a long time before getting to town in the morning, especially. There have been several uh, residential areas that have mushroomed. For example, if you take a detour off the road from any point, you realize that there are several people who constructed their own houses in areas that were hitherto not uh, really developed, areas that had nobody, for example. There are several people who had, uh, who had bought uh, pieces of land uh, for speculation, but with, with the coming of the road, they were now able to comfortably construct because they, they obviously knew that they could uh, comfortably commute from uh, their, their, those points of residences to, to town, if the, for, for those that work in town. For example, where we are right now, it's a very famous place for roast meat, what we call Nyamachoma locally. Pl this place is called Kamakis. These roads were constructed around the same time, the Thika Road Superhighway and the Northern Bypass. So it uh, gave an opportunity to people, business people, to put up businesses the, the meat 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 vendors are several and they still take out a living out of that what about the lives of the ordinary people do you feel they've had an opportunity to maybe start businesses along thicker road or maybe they have benefited in one way or another well this road has impacted the dwellers of the thicker road and its environs positively <laughs> Service and good delivery has been made because of the road. Suppliers deliver our orders on time to our doorstep. They only take about an hour. This has eased our way of business. There's no traffic which allows them to move faster. Before the road was constructed, like when going to town, it was a hundred shillings. Today, people pay as low as 50 shillings for the same distance. In regards to fuel, you will find that you are consuming uh, less fuel by... You could even consume less fuel by a half. There are several connections, connecting routes rather, so to speak, such, such that you, you may not necessarily need to go to the city, like before, to connect to some other suburbs, we would call them suburbs of the Nairobi city, which means that, of course, uh, eases traffic. The number of the footbridges now has increased because, like, I don't know whether you can see, there is one there. That one is fairly new. It was not there initially. Actually, they directed a speed bump. And then the speed bump was causing traffic towards town. So what, what, what means is that you have to slow down to, to maneuver the, the speed bump. Then that causes a snarl up. So there are new developments that are, are going on along the highway, courtesy of the authorities that take care of the highways, which I would say are uh, on a need-to-need -need basis. 